<laughs> Yo guys, welcome back to the Tarasenkos. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown I'm gonna get if you hear me laughing. Alright, today we're hitting you with a different type of video. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, 20, roughly 20 facts about us. Yeah, 20, 20 questions. Yeah, so let's crack into it. So, number one is, what's our names? Oh, shit. God damn it. <coughs> okay, number one, <laughs> what is our names? Yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty easy one if you don't know yet. Uh, well, I'm Sammy Tarasenko. And I'm Jacob Tarasenko. We're both brothers. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Number two, where were you born? Or where were we born? Uh, yeah, so we were born in Australia, in a town called Newcastle, mm -hmm. or city. And yeah, that was basically it. Yeah, we, we lived there for 15 years. Yeah, about, around about 15 years, 16 years. Yeah. Me 14, Samuel 15. Number three, how old are we? Oh, we turned 23 in uh, August. So, yeah, that's how old I am. And I am 21. I just turned it in March. Number four, where do you live? Where do we live? But yeah, but we're living in Sweden now. We're staying with an African family. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. Yeah. We live in a place called Vekwa. It's a nice little city or mm -hmm. town. Number five, I guess, is... Uh, number five? <laughs> Uh, which countries have we traveled in and yeah, how did we come to, to Sweden? Yeah, so basically when we left Australia, we went to Brazil to play and we also, from there we went to <clears throat> to England for a, a little bit and then went to Croatia and from Croatia back to England and then from Croatia, oh no sorry, from England to Sweden. We've yeah. never, basically, we've been around the whole, the whole world, apart from Africa and North, North America. North America, so, yeah. Hopefully one day we'll, we'll travel there. Yeah. Number six, where is our family living now? Yeah, so our family tr traveled with us to Croatia mm -hmm. and then to England, and now they're living in England whilst we're yeah. here in Sweden. Yeah, so it's our parents and our little brother as well. Yeah, and our auntie also. Yeah. She, excuse me. <coughs> she, uh, she came over uh, later on after we we moved to England. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Which country did you enjoy the most being in, or living in, living in? Should I say? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I enjoyed living in Australia probably the most um, because it's just such a beautiful place and. Uh, Multi, so much culture. And it's also just, you know, like I said, a beautiful place to live in. You know, yeah, it's always sunny, um, basically all year round. But also, uh, it was nice to live in Croatia as well. I enjoyed living there. But I think for me, the best place is Australia. Yeah, yeah. For you? For me, I yeah. I mean, Australia is fantastic. I'd love to live there again, also. Uh, but I, I really love Croatia as well. So yeah, uh, it would be uh, between those two mm -hmm. countries, I think. Yeah. I just, I, I love them both. Number eight, which teams have we played in? Yeah, so we played in a numerous amount of teams over our years, but we can name the professional teams that we've played in. So in Australia, we both played in a team called EAP. It was basically uh, the academy for Newcastle Jets. Mm -hmm. Before it was before called. it was called Newcastle Jets yeah. Academy, um, yeah. So we played there for a few years. Uh, I also played in the Australian national team. Uh, then we went to Cruzeiro uh, in Brazil for a month. Mm. We were there. I was also in Wigan um, in England for a month or so. Uh, Samuel and our older brother also were in. Uh, Accrington Stanley? Accrington Stanley, when we were all there, mm -hmm. when I was in Wigan. Mm -hmm. uh, then in Croatia, I played in Dinamo Zagreb. Mm -hmm. 
and NK Maximi for a little bit before going to Dinamo. Yeah, and I also was at um, Dinamo for a time as well, then went to NK Maximi also, and then from there I went to NK Zagreb um, also. Yeah. And then in England, we based, I was in uh, Cambridge United, uh, and then we dropped off a little bit when everyone came off, and we played in Sunday League, and slowly progressed ourselves back up into the football leagues. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then uh, our friend, Miss Love, which you'll probably meet uh, sometime during these vlogs, uh, he uh, asked us if we wanted to come to Sweden, mm -hmm. and so we did. Yeah. And now we're here and we play in this team called Ordered. Uh, so yeah, so it's good. Number nine. <laughs> so yeah, basically, okay, number, two, yeah. number nine. Which position is your favorite position? Uh, probably for me, my favorite position would have to be on the, the wing. Uh, that's where I usually play. And I can also play as a striker, which I, I like as well, but you know, over the recent years I've been playing more on the wing, so I enjoy playing there. Uh, for me, um, I've always played as a striker or just behind a striker. That's basically my best position, I think. But now I'm playing on the wing and I'm getting used to it. it it's, it's coming better and better, so I can play in, in those three positions uh, pretty easily, I think. So yeah, striker, attacking mid and on the wing. Number 10, where do we want to play and uh, or who do, who do we want to play for? Yeah, so basically the goal uh, for, for both of us, I think, is to play professional football. Well, it is to play professional football. And I want to play in AC Milan. Uh, yeah, I want to play for Inter Milan, funnily enough. In uh, Syria also, you know, they're a top club. And, you know, I've watched, enjoyed watching them play. And it seems like a good place to play. That's what I'd like to be. Yeah. Number 11. What was the highest amount of goals you scored in a season? Uh, for me, it probably would have to be when I was playing in NK Maximilia. And I scored 24 goals in 17 games, something like that. And that's when I was playing as a striker. So that was a, that was a really good season for me and that helped me um, move to NK Zagreb. You know, win the, the league that season as well, so it was nice. Uh, for me, I scored when I was younger, like really young. I think it was my first ever season actually playing, maybe under nines or tens. I scored uh, 50, about 50 goals, I think, in one season. But going from recent years, uh, last year I scored 31, I think 31, 31 goals in 22 games. Number 12, what was your favourite or best goal you've scored? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, I, was, we all, I always talk to Albert, uh, uh, kind of our, our friend and mentor, about, about scoring goals and yeah, there was one interview that he always brings up. So anyway, uh, so it was basically like, I, I forget who, who the player was, but he basically said that every goal that goes into the back of the net is his favourite goal. Uh, and that's just a really cliche thing to say as a striker, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think it's true. I have a lot of like great goals and Samuel also. But I think that's probably the best. It's the best feeling, you know, scoring. Yeah, just, just to score a goal. Yeah. Uh, all goals are great at the end of the day. Because you know, exactly. they, they cross the line, like, like, was, like we said in this quote. So... You know, a goal is just, it doesn't matter how good it is, it always, it's always a great feeling to score. Yeah, but I have, I have a few that are really good, um, so. But yeah, I think every goal is, is great, mm -hmm. so. That's my favorite, scoring every goal. <laughs> yeah. Scoring a goal is my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. What about you? But yeah, I mean, the same for me, but probably the probably two goals that most stand out for me. Uh, that comes straight to my head is probably when I was playing in Croatia for Maximi also when I was playing with um, a good friend of mine. He was a centre back. He played one long ball to me and it was 1-1 in the dying minutes of the game and I took a touch with the outside of my foot um, over between the defenders and then I chipped it over the, the goalkeeper. So that was really nice. And also 
uh, actually this year when we played against uh, Osedna. Actually, in the, we, it was also uh, a, a winner, a goal winning uh, goal. And I came off the bench actually, and I had a feeling I was going to score. Uh, also, the player that I switched with scored. So we both said to each other we were going to score this game. And we both ended up doing it. And I think it was in the 89th minute, uh, 90th minute I came on. And we were down 3 1. We ended up coming back, scoring three, three or four goals in 11 minutes, something like that. Three goals. Three goals. And yeah, and I was lucky enough to, and thankful enough to get the last one. And I put it under the keeper and it just felt good you know, to celebrate with the team because we worked so hard to, you know, to get to that point. And you know, we were down 3 1. We just kept on fighting till the end. So that was really nice. So I'd probably put that up there. One of my most memorable goals. Number 13. What does Namini on the back of your shirt mean? What is the meaning of, sorry, number 13? What does your, your shirt number, number 13? <laughs> what, what <laughs> does your shirt number no. have a meaning behind it? Yeah, that's, I don't know, I, I don't know why I'm saying what. <laughs> 13. 13. Wait a second. Number 13. Uh, does your shirt number have a specific meaning? Uh, for me, not really. Uh, when I first come, I came a little bit late to, the, to the, the team, and all the numbers were basically taken, so I would have probably picked number 11. But. I decided to choose number 22 because you know, it's just the, it was the first number that came into my head and it was available so I was lucky enough to get it and yeah I like the number and, uh, yeah, I think it suits me 22 so it's, it's pretty good yeah uh, for me number 97 like likewise to Samuel I was I came late uh, well I was here but then I, I went away on trial with a division 2 team in Croatia and the negotiations basically uh, ended pretty poorly so yeah then I, I came back and it was yeah every, I was already late to pick a number and usually I'm number 9, 10 um, or 19 that's yeah kind of my number but every number that I picked it was taken so I couldn't yeah choose a number that I really wanted to it was uh, either between 29 or 97, which I basically um, chose 97 because I'm born in 1997. So yeah, so I thought I'd just go go with that. Mm. Number 14. What are your goals for the short term, for the present, and for your long term future? Uh, so for the present, right now we're we're basically on a little bit of a break. It was the last game on. Friday and we won two. Ah, oh, sorry, three, yeah. three nil. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I scored a double and uh, yeah, and Samuel also started and played really well mm -hmm. as a right back. Uh, but for the present moment, my goal is to yeah, to start training. It won't be for a few more days. We'll, we're going to rest for a little bit of football, uh, and then for the next few days, we yeah, we're resting. But after that, we're going to start to train again mm -hmm. two times a day. And for my short-term goals uh, towards the season, uh, it's going to be yeah to, to score and to be consistent in, in the upcoming games in the last ten games of the season and try and uh, uh, and try and get to, to score at least two goals per game or more. So that's that's my aim with that. And yeah, my long-term goals uh, for I guess the end of the season towards the future is yeah to to sign the professional contract by the end of this season or by the end of this year or early next season so yeah that's basically what I'm looking at and for me yeah basically the same thing present um, I'm just trying to stay fit get conditioned you know keep that consistent level of fitness and physical uh, limit um, high and yeah just to 
keep training, stay stay fit for the remainder of the season, and keep my position. And probably for my long term um, goal is at, you know, at the end of the season sign a, sign a professional contract. Fifteen. What was your best, first favorite experience or memory in your life so far? For me. I haven't really got a specific time in my life. Maybe I will in the future, but right now I'm just enjoying life, everything that comes with the good and the bad. But um, yeah, I guess the same for, for Samuel and me. I feel like uh, learning the law of attraction was probably mm. the best thing uh, that's happened so far uh, for me as a person. I've, I've changed and I've progressed um, and I've learned a lot more as whilst I was learning the law of attraction and a lot more about myself mm -hmm. and doing this journey is yeah it's, I think it's helped us both to find ourselves and to find out what we want to do mm -hmm. in our lives and, and yeah and just to en enjoy life so mm -hmm. I feel like going on this this journey um, to become a professional football player is is an amazing experience because we've traveled so far we've done so many different things in our life yeah it's really been amazing met so many people so i'm i'm so grateful mm. yeah just experience experiencing life is best best moments yeah, yeah you see so many things mm -hmm. i'd rather be doing this than than sitting behind some some desk or office yeah you know, earning, you know, earning money just for the sake of earning money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just follow what you do, what you love, and you know, go from there. So anyway, that wraps up the kind of facts questions. About twenty, us. yeah, twenty facts. I mean, the, it was roughly twenty facts. There was a few extra questions mm -hmm. thrown in there. But yeah, that's basically the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and if you did enjoy it. Smash the like button down below. Yeah, um, if you want to know anything else more about us or want any new... Yeah, different content. Different content comment down below. Yeah, and, and subscribe if you're new. Yeah. Always, uh, it's always you're good. always welcome to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess we will catch you guys in the next video. Yeah, so we'll send off now. Yeah, so keep staying positive, guys. Keep moving forward. And if you believe, you can to the noise. Right. I just wanna Peace keep out. moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back. I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best.